Hey guys, it's Julia from Crocoblog. Welcome to our new video. And today we'll go over the awesome JetSmart filters plugin functionality. I'd like to briefly go over the main settings and features of the JetSmart filters, starting with the dashboard settings and ending with the Elementor page builder customization. Also, I'll tell you about every filter type and additional widget in general. So let's dive into the world of the Croco overviews. So guys, what is actually the JetSmart Filters plugin? That it's awesome tool with a bunch of widgets that helps you a lot to filter anything you want to. For example, try it out for the e-commerce purposes or portfolio or the blocks of any sorts, rental services, restaurants, and really much more. As you can see, it is fully suitable for everything. Besides, we are constantly working on the essential updates to improve the filters functionality so you can easily add and use them right away. So let's proceed to the part where I'm going to uncover the key points about the filter settings. For this story, I need the WordPress dashboard. Here, follow to Elementor JetSmart filter settings. Okay, you've asked our support reps about the JetSmart filters compatibility with the widgets. Basically, this tab answers the question, which widget do work in combo with the JetSmart filters plugin? Here is the list of the widgets that are available for filtering. As you can see, our plugin works with Elementor Pro widgets, WooCommerce, and with Crocoblock, Jet Engine, and Jet Builder plugins. Actually, that doesn't mean that by enabling these options, you apply the JetSmart filters to the plugins directly. You see, there are the widgets, namely Product Grid and Product List. So if you have the WooCommerce products and you switched on the Jet Builder Products Grid in this particular list, Third thing you should do after that is to use this particular widget in Elementor Page Builder to show up the products. And then you add and set the filters to this JetWoo Builder products grid. And here you can style the filters as well, I mean in the Elementor Page Builder. Hope I didn't confuse you with this story, so follow with me to the next one. Here, let me put you wise and tell you more about the what are three ways to set the filters properly. So first, on the dashboard, in this tab, enable the combo with the needed widgets. Plus, you can set the indexer option here as well, if you need it. So the second is also from the backend. Follow to the Smart Filters menu add the required filters and set the queries here. I'll open for you one filter so you can see what could be set in this block. So we can here customize the labels, choose the filter type, decide on the hierarchical option, and you choose the data source that could be taxonomy, that could be post products or manual input. And you have here the ability to include uh, or exclude categories if you have them. So everything that comes to the filter settings is here. The last stage uh, is in the Elementor page builder. So let's proceed to it. Okay, so here you should drag and drop it. I already have it inserted here. Apply it to the widget, choose the Ajax or page reload option, decide on the button or value change and style it up. So here you can see also styling settings. So let's get to the another story. What filters you've got with the JetSmart Filters plugin? Here I'm going to demonstrate all the filters on this shop page. To find out the more detailed info about the filters, follow the link to our tutorials in the description below. Alrighty, we'll start with the brand new sorting filter, which is available with the updated version of the JetSmart Filters plugin 1.7. Sorting filter is the lifesaver when it comes to the dozens of items in chaotic order. So with it, you can arrange the display order of the results according to the various criteria, as here by title, 
the lowest to highest and vice versa. Let okay, so then by date. So you can do it this right way. Next filter is the checkbox filter, with the help of which you can easily check several categories at once. Very useful too when you want to get your fancy combo of jeans, maybe top and maybe shoes for your perfect look. All right, and what goes next? Next is, okay, so here, if you want to be more specific and would like to filter only one category, use the radio filter, as here we have three available payment options. And once you click on any, the other two are not available. And you see here the products which you can buy with the American Express only. Let's remove the filters and I'll tell you more about this feature a bit later. Alright, so the select filter is a splendid tool if you don't want to show up all the categories in the list. You see it is quite lean. Click on the arrow and you have all the available options in your drop-down list. And if you need to filter some more complex things or show up the hierarchy of the products or post, use the hierarchical filter with select filter type. With the help of it, you avoid the additional filtration and apply only one filter to narrow the search results greatly, believe me. Following to the next range filter, it's very simple to set. Just put the step $1 or 5 or whatever, it's up to you. And it's very handy for the user, just move the points like here over the slider to pick the needed, for example, price range you've got the precise lightning fast results. We have one more range filter, check range. If you have the product with the huge price difference, just put the needed ranges like here to make this checkbox effect with the range touch. For those who need the filter for the booking, rental or other services, we've got cool date range filter. It is pretty self-explanatory, just choose the dates from and dates to and then you can plan your VK. Wow, so many filters and it is only one plugin and it's not even the end. Following to the next awesome feature that you've got with the JetSmart Filters plugin. It is the rating filter. It is really handy tool that helps to filter out the top products only if you want to. By the way, you can customize these, these stars in the style settings as well. Okay, the most lovable widget, the visual filter. Here you see two examples of how it could be done, really beautiful and useful for the shops, where you want to show up the brands visually using images, or if you have such attributes as color, feel free to use the color filter to make your page ongoing and stylish. Presenting the next one, the search filter, must have widget of all times when you need to filter the items by name. By the way, the amazing thing is that you can set the Ajax apply type on typing and set the minimum number of letters. I have three here, so let's see what happened. So the process of loading the results doesn't take too long. Isn't that cool? All right, we've done with the filter types and following to the another part of our story, JetSmart filter goodies, so-called the additional widgets, which are amplifying the filter's functionality and flexibility. So the first, as I promised, is the remove filters widget. It's so helpful when you've already got so many filters active and you want to reset them all. With this widget, there is no need to unclick all over these filters. It would be enough to just push one button, like here. And the next widget is the active filters. One more effective tool that helps you not to get lost in the several filters. It shows up the filters that currently applied only. And in addition, you may clear some filters here as well by clicking this little cross. Cool, so now following to the apply button the top-up element of your filters. With the help of it, you can add the needed filter on the home page. Imagine, no products grid, no products list, just filters. And set the redirect option to this button. 
So once you click on the apply button, it redirects you to the shop page with the already filtered out product. Just try it out if you don't believe me. And the last additional widget is the pagination. This option is much needed when you have many products or other content. So it improves the navigation through the grid or the list. So I'm clicking on the second page. It's loading. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. We've done with the JetSmart filters plugin overview and hope that now you have an idea how to work with them. And moreover, as you can see with this plugin, you've got so many different filters that might be useful for any kind of the website. They are all fully customizable as from the dashboard, as in Elementor page builder. All the style and settings are available to keep your websites uniform. Don't forget to check the links below we prepared for you. There are some tutorials and how to's on this JetSmart filters topic. So you can dive in with Croco, leave the comments below and give this a thumbs up. May the Croco block power be with you. See ya.